Hello everyone and welcome to the third lecture of the Streamlit series. In this lecture we are going to see the various plots and how to plot those charts, those line charts, those bar charts and you know all other charts in Streamlit. So we will be using matplotlib for all the, uh, we will be also plotting the matplotlib part okay. So I need to do the certain imports so first Streamlit, Streamlit as st. I also need numpy so import numpy as np. I also need pandas so import pandas as pd. And lastly I need to import the matplotlib so matplotlib.py plot as plt. Once you are done with all of this I need to go and open the command shell and then run this particular uh, file. So first I need to go to the datum folder then I need to go to the streamlet folder then I also need to go to the video code folder and then I'm going to pass streamlet run and then what the lecture is so lecture is 3 so I'm going to hit enter as you can see we have our blank canvas now what I need to do is first thing I need to do is have a data frame so I'm going to say pd dot data frame frame and I'm going to have some random numbers so random dot random and let me just keep it to 10 comma 2 and my column names are I am also going to give some column names so columns is equals to I'm going to have two of them I'm going to say prices and then let's say diff difference so if you are going to you know print this data frame you can easily print it using st dot write or st dot write or st dot let's say table or you can also use st dot data frame and then print print the df I'm not going to do all of that in this video we are going to see how to plot these kind of uh, charts so the first one is line chart okay so what is the line chart well we will see so we will say line underscore chart and basically what I'm going to do is simply pass df okay so this will plot the entire thing so I'm going to the file and then hit rerun so as you can see the diff was here the prices was here and then there were they are these graphs so this light blue is for the diff part the dark blue is for the prices and you can see the different graph now what if you just want to plot one of them okay so the way you do it is what you do is go over here itself and then pass some y so why I'm going to say let me print only the prices okay I'm going to save and then hit rerun so you can see only the prices you can see in the left part over here in the y-axis prices is there so this is only the prices so let's say instead of prices now you want to print diff or the difference you just go over here go to the browser then you rerun and you can see the difference has been printed and or rather plotted and prices has been omitted so this was about the line chart rest everything almost um, let's say the second one also follows the same pattern so you will have the area chart okay so st dot area chart and basically fill or give the df okay uh, you go over here you rerun you can see the two area charts now what you can do is also you can I hope you can pass a y and then you can also pass prices and then over here you can go and rerun so you can see only one of the uh, you can see prices and one of the variables were printed so this is one way of doing it this is line chart this is area chart now there is something called as the bar chart similar thing you can say bar chart same format okay you go df over here you save it you go over here and then you rerun you can see the bar chart now again you can do that but i'm not going over here you can do y equal to whatever and then you can print or you can plot only one of them okay after that what i'm going to do is i'm going to show you one important one which is the matplotlib now there are so many things that you know you can plot with matplotlib how to show the matplotlib figures in streamlit so let me do first the scatter plot okay so i already did in the last video but no problem i'll do it again uh, in the last to last video plt dot subplots subplots okay and ax dot scatter so we are going to plot the scatter plot and the way i do, do it is so arrange let me have 10 numbers and here also i'll have the same thing but i'll have the squares of this okay so this is the squares and the way you print it is you just write st dot pi plot 
you use st dot pi uh, plot and then you pass fig okay you go over here and then you rerun you can see the plot has has come okay the x axis is np dot arrange 10 and this one is the squares of that okay and you can see the graph over here so this is one way now let me go and plot uh, let's say a histogram okay so i'm going to say ax dot hist hist and instead of that let me have some random normal values okay so rand n let me have um let's say 100 values and in the bins i'm going to have let's say 10 values okay and i'll re uh, i'll keep everything the same now you can see a normal distribution has been plotted okay around zero so this is one way of doing it so in this video till now we have done this one more thing is left so instead of i'm going to comment this now and after so you can see that you can plot any matplotlib figure okay like that any i have just done scatter and histogram you can do any figure okay now the last one is st.map and this is very interesting so st.map is actually going to give you the map of the entire world so if you rerun and you just wrote st.map nothing else you just wrote st.map and this is giving you the map of the entire world so you can go and then you can see india's map here okay you can see india's map um what you can do back now is now you can specify some coordinates so let me go and do that i'm going to say places and i have to, i have to uh, give you a data frame you can also not give a data frame but i like to do like this okay so okay now the you have to mention two things over here latitude and longitude so you should know the latitude and longitude of the places you want to point on the map so my two places are mumbai and delhi so i'm going to say the latitude which is lat you can also use the complete word latitude i know the latitude of mumbai is um is 19.07 and the latitude of delhi is 28.64 so this is for the latitude go to the next line and write lon for long longitude now the longitude of um, mumbai is 72.87 and for delhi it is 77.21 now this is enough and now you what you can do is over here you can go and pass places okay so the problem is i haven't written pd i have written df so as you can see the two points have been plotted you can go over here and then you can you know scan you can see mumbai's red point is there it's very difficult to see but you can see over here the red point is there similarly if you go up you can see okay let me just pan out a little bit yes over here you can see delhi's you can see new delhi and see the red point over here so this is how you plot different points on the map so i hope you understood the video all the code will be in the github the link is in the description thank you and bye